we woke up six, and now now we uh, downst uh, downstairs of hotel to coming to eat uh, breakfast. So fast customer. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it's empty. And then where are we going? Uh, Tirana, Albania. Was leaving 7:30, so quickly eat breakfast and. And go. We have oh my god, 18 minutes for bus leaves. <laughs> we we got to uh, bus station on time, but uh, we didn't know that we needed to pay bus station tax. Bus station tax for each person two euro, and also to. Deposit? No. Luggage. Uh, for luggage? Fee. Luggage fee for euro. So, oh. so yesterday like I took uh, some like 20, 20 euro and uh, like our dinner like paid by card. But uh, now it's again. <laughs> like it's yeah. only left to 2 euro. And this is honestly really annoying because they don't tell you these things anywhere. Mm -hmm. And right now I was just... Uh, he just said, like, okay, you have to pay me 4 euros. I'm like, you don't have any cash. We are low on money. It's like... Not talking, not talking. Either you take your bags and <laughs> leave, uh, and go away, or you pay me. You know, and I was like, no choice. whoa, no choice. Very, very angry driver. Yeah. But Unfortunately, we had a six euro. Literally, literally last, last, last <laughs> money. Oh. Yeah, so you, you didn't have any cash. Just buy my bus, and yeah. you cannot drive. So I guess just be prepared to pay. Just bring a lot of cash because a lot of buses here. You can see. They don't have a lot of space for bags. Yeah. You can do it like a backpack. Maybe a small bag like this. Or like this. But if you have a bigger bag like us, not gonna fit. So you're gonna struggle. So bring cash. Yeah. And now we're going to Tirana. <laughs> so much stress traveling. Today. When we woke up at 7.30, I had no idea how long this ride is going to be. We are almost six, we're gonna be six hours today on the road. We just stopped by in this coffee shop alongside the road, had uh, eclairs and lattes, and we are back on the bus, and still one hour and a half to go, so... <sighs> I just wanna get there. Guys, sorry to interrupt the video. This video brought to you by Magic Mind. At this point, we have been using Magic Mind for over a month and today we're gonna share with you what we think about this drink. This drink is designed to boost your productivity and sharpen your mind every day. So, what is uh, Magic Mind? I'm glad you asked. Magic Mind is not just energy drink, it's a productivity shot. <laughs> so lately, I noticed uh, he drink coffee much less than before. Yes, and I think part of that is because of Magic Mind. You see, well, I drink coffee a lot, is to stay focused. When you do YouTube, filmmaking, other job, coffee keeps me going. But sometimes it gets to the point where you are way too alert. Your eyes are jumping out of your head and you just way too caffeinated. And I found that Magic Mind keeps your productivity going without way less caffeine while giving you all of the necessary energy to go throughout the day. It's a productivity show designed to boost your energy and focus. Also, elevate mental clarity. And most importantly, it will crush your procrastination because procrastination is the last thing you want to have while you try to do something. So, how does it taste for you? It's a bit bitter, but easy to drink, but I prefer mix with morning latte. Yeah, it's very interesting taste, but you get used to it eventually. So this tiny drink might be, at the end of the day, the best energy and productivity drink on the market right now. And after taking this for months, I can tell you that it works, it boosts your energy, it helps your productivity, and it just gets the job done. Thank you Magic Mind for supporting our videos. And also guys, it's perfect on the go. Look how tiny this bottle is. Keep it with you anywhere. So just click on the link below and get yours today. <laughs> so finally, we arrived in Tirana, Albania. <laughs> Let's go explore. <laughs> so finally, we arrived at the lunch place at Albania. And I order lemon soda and coming this one. Yay, same as, same as the yeah, Italian one. Campai. And uh, look at this. So this restaurant, look at this menu. 
Yeah. Oh. Order this one, need it takes two hours. Oh. Who order? Must be really good. Yeah. Who who order? But who orders? Yeah, still still order. <laughs> anyway, we have ordered. Waiting for the food. Food coming. So we order cornbread with yogurt and uh, I don't know. It's far, Fargus Berore. Very traditional. Yeah, which looks is very heavy. This one. So this is our first meal in Albania. Albania. Let's try it. Oh, smells so good. So we just finished eating in this beautiful, beautiful place. And the stuff very above cheap. and beyond. We literally just left our suitcases in there. <laughs> and now we are going to explore yeah. the city. Babe, did you enjoy your first? Albanian dish. Yeah, very. We had very traditional food. Mm. It was very nice. Delicious, fresh, and nice. And the bill wasn't a lot, right? Mm. Under twenty pounds. So good. We are in center of Albania. We made it to the center of square. Whoa! This square is huge. I love Tirana. I love Tirana. I love this girl. Yeah. And the weather? By the way, the weather is great. 36 degrees. Okay. Segoi. We are in Albania. That's the Royal Opera House behind us. So cool. Japanese girl in Albania. The only <laughs> Japanese girl so far I've seen. Yeah, so far, even I don't look any, <laughs> I don't see any Asian. Set up done. Okay. Okay, this position. Thank you. This is filter means. This is means directly. This means tap. So filter directly tap. So yeah, I think approve. <laughs> Can try. I might be wrong, but. We just finished the story in the castle <laughs> and it took us like um, very modern one minute literally to cross it. Compared to mm. other city, yeah, very very modern style. Very castle. modern, very small. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, I don't know where to go next. <laughs> <laughs> so we just came to the river. <laughs> of course, I didn't expect the uh, like, same size as uh, Thames River, but at least like a. Uh, because our neighbors. So here, here we are. It looked much bigger on pictures. This is, this is what it is. This was my last thing on the list to visit. Okay, where is the next, babe? Um. Wait, I come to you. We came to see this bridge, and it looked bigger on pictures than it is in real life. Look at that. And it's not even on the river. The river is there. The bridge is there. I'm coming, wife. Long time ago, there was a river there. But now, there is nothing. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think we have visited most of the attractions. <laughs> Finished. <laughs> Finished, literally. Oh my god. We have just arrived airport. to the airport, which is just there. Because of such a paranoid boyfriend, we have arrived many, 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 many hours yeah. before the flight. Oh, I don't like this angle. So. <laughs> So, so now we are in airport, Tirana airport. This country is outside the EU, so my phone completely cannot use. And I expect finally in the airport I could use, but airport Wi-Fi doesn't work. Yeah, and it's very slow. Mm, so. And this whole trip, uh, you had connection all the way until Montenegro and Albania, right? Mm. For the most of the trip, she had internet, but then. That's it, outside of the European Union. 
So how was it for you, babe? This whole trip, if you would have to recap, not just mm, Albania. Very, very but... enjoy. Very, very tired. Yeah. Uh, tired more than work. Got me to work. Yeah, me too. We... Because wake up every every day, wake up like five thirty, six a.m. Wake up and like come back hotel quite late. <laughs> Eleven. Working a lot. <laughs> Well, as usual, was yeah, and <laughs> very active couple. And every uh, every other day, we had to what take the bus to another country, right? Pretty much, which yeah, was except uh, Croatia. Yeah. yeah, it was one of the most insane and the best trips I ever had. So, thank you, Aligato. I without her, I, I I think I would never do this kind of trip because <laughs> yeah. it's just like. <laughs> It's not for oh, me no, if, if I travel alone. It's just simply not worth it. It's just like well, so one place much. And stay. One place right. and stay and like yeah, I had back pain. I had to put these <laughs> special things on my back. I had to take and, pills and medicine. And, uh, but I also like my eye was like too some, much yeah. tired and like leg gone to bed. And she like, had uh, I think it was some uh, eye infection, so we had to uh, buy special eye drops to <laughs> make sure it's gone and even anti allergy pills. And we took. Uh, C6 pill, more, C6, than, yeah, more I mean, than 10 tablets, like every more day. More than 10 tablets, a lot of, uh, when we took the buses, a lot of windy roads from the mountains next to the sea. Unfortunately, well, this time, like, we took C6 pill every day, so both of us didn't uh, get Yeah, I think that's any. why, because we, we, we've been prepared, right? And, yeah, it was a fun trip, very exhausting, very happy to finally go back. Our plane is going to be leaving in about an hour, so I'm excited to go back to London. I realized that, me personally, I miss London for the convenience. Technical, right. Technical, it's just right. technical, but also so much more simpler, like you go anywhere, you just bring your phone and you can pay for transport, for bus, for train, for eating out. And you don't need to worry about the uh, like, trick. Like, uh, yeah, you don't need to worry about uh, like tourist traps, <laughs> uh, conversions, uh, where to get cash, uh, what currency you need to pay, and just like easy. Anything you want to add? In that case, guys, thank you so much for watching. As usual, if you like videos, please subscribe and like and hit the good button. And yeah, we'll see you on another video. Bye bye. <laughs>